Hi, this is Garth. Um, today we're going to do a quick uh, little tutorial on uh, how to do wiki spaces. Um, there are other options for wiki. Wiki uh, simply means um, it's a Hawaiian word for quick quick. But we're going to use wiki spaces. There's PB wiki and there's other wikis. So if you just search other wikis, you'll find a bunch. But I'm going to do it with wiki spaces. The other thing is in Google, I, I searched in wiki spaces for educators and you'll get this site. Um, you get to create your account down here, start your wiki. It's relatively simple to start your wiki. It's free, um, and if you don't sign up as a teacher, the service you're getting is a paid-for service. But by signing up as a teacher, you will get a free copy. So what I've already done is created a, an example. Um, I just opened up a page. So this is the example DGH. So it's just a blank one to show you how it works. Um, yours is going to have the same flower design and whatever name you give your account when you first create it. Next is over here to the right, you have a variety of things, your home pages and files. You can just add more pages by clicking. Members, you can invite people, or I'll show you some of that. Recent changes let you see any changes that have taken place um, over the last few days. And then Manage Wiki, there's a few options we'll look at. So let's go into it first. And so by clicking Manage Wiki, you are going to get um, a page with a variety of options. Most of these are not important for, for us. Um, pages just lets you see all your pages and files or whatever you've uploaded. Tags so you can find pages. Um, templates, I'm probably not going to use most of this. Members is if you invite people or let your students in. Permissions is important, so we'll click it. Permissions, um, you get this version automatically. Anyone can view your page, but only members can edit. Um, and then you can allow people to post discussion comments even if they're not members. Now, this is a paid-for service, but again, you get it free, and you can just update that. Once it's updated, you're good to go there. Um, back to managing wikis. The other thing that's relevant for you, probably it's very important, is the look and feel. Um, other settings, we'll just take a look. Wiki info, uh, subscription if you want to pay stuff, domain name if you want to change the name of your address, content managers to organize things. Um, if you want to add a calendar into it, you can bring a calendar in. Down under tools, you got some statistics, tell you how many people are using it, you know, how much space you've used that you're allowed, badges if you want to put badges on your website. But for the most part, the key ones are going to be in content, across content. You might use a few of the people here, and then the look and feel. So let's go into it. And the first thing is you can pick a theme or a style. This is a logo one. If you want to do this, you can change the logo from that flower pot to something else. So if I were going to do that, um, uh, you know, i got to find, let's go to my YouTube channel. I just want to take a screenshot so I can upload something so you can see it. So I might just take a screenshot of that. I go back and now I can upload any file. And a screenshot, I used a Mac. I'm using, that's just command shift four to get that to work. And so now that screenshot is in and I save and you're going to notice that my wiki will um, look different when we go back to the page. So if we go to my wiki home, you'll now see that that's the logo up in the corner. This stays the same. You can also change colors. We should probably do that just so you can see because that's something all people pretty much want to do is change the colors. Here are your colors and themes. So you can go in and just pick a variety. Um, and all these, again, it's really up to you. We'll just pick a notebook and be done with it for now, and we'll do light. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. And we'll apply. And now you're going to see that the, it's kind of changed, um, the look. You know, so we're good. We're back to it. So let's go back to my wiki home, and you'll see that it looks a little bit different. It's got the notebook theme, my, my logo, and now the stuff's running across the top, not the side. There's a search box here so you can search for specific things, but really the wiki, let's get started. Simply to, to change things, you just click edit. Once you get into edit, you have a traditional that looks a lot like Word. Um, bold, italicize, underline. These are your text colors, um, so you can select your fonts, your text colors, background color alignment, strike through if you want to show changes. Um, you've got heading sides. you got your bulleted one, two, three, just bullets. Um, links, files, widgets, tables, comments. That's pretty much it. So it works a lot like Word. Um, you can just highlight and delete and say, you know, welcome to my uh, wiki. And then just to see some of that stuff work, uh, we can go to text. 
let's make the text a red. Apply that. Um, let's make it bigger. Let's make it bold. And then let's center it. So I mean, I'm you know, again, we could spend more time on this. We're not. I'm just giving you the basics. Um, once you get it in there, most people want to do other things with their wiki. So you can type whatever you want. I will show you that you can also copy and paste. So you can go to anything you've ever made. Um, and if you copy the text, you can go in and you can paste that text. So you can copy and paste if you've done Word documents or you've done, you know, uh, some kind of file you can just copy and paste it in. The next thing you want to be able to do is link. So um, you can highlight any word and make them links to anywhere on the web. So by clicking links, you got a couple options. You can link it inside your own website. That would be inside your wiki. External means you're going to go out on the web. And here I would recommend you copy and paste. I know uh, the protocol, but you have to put the HTTP colon backslash backslash. And I'm going to do ggh.wikispaces.com. This is my student created online textbook, and I'll just link it. Um, and that's how that works. You get this. Now, if you click it now, it may or may not work. You'll see it when we save it. The other thing that people like to do is put widgets in. And the widgets, there's tons of them. So I'm not going to go through every one of these because they're self-explanatory once you get started. Um, you have video. Let's just do a video. Most people want to use video. You can also, but again, read down through calendar, spreadsheets, documents. You can do polls in here. You can have chats. Um, the chats is actually a pretty nice feature. You can do slideshows. So you can put a series of images up and run them through a slideshow on your page. You can put maps in, Google Maps and, and uh, Google Earth even images. You can really do any HTML code you want. So you can put Vokies in or anything that runs on HTML code. So we'll just do a YouTube. Um, by clicking, it tells you exactly what to do. Go to YouTube, look for the embed, copy and paste it here. So we're on YouTube, so I'll go down and put in uh, this kid's Black Death video. So you click it. The video has to be playing. You can't see it. It's got to be playing. And then underneath, there's a share. You click the share, and then it said get the embed code. There's the embed code, and here it is. I just paste the embed code. I go back embed and save. Now again I'll, I'll lock this off. Now what you're gonna say is but it just is a big blue box that says YouTube. It, it's gonna work. So we'll do one more thing and that's um, how to upload a, a picture and then we'll show you how this all works. Pictures are a file. So everything except a picture is here somehow in this stuff. But if you want to put pictures up or a Word document you want them to download a Word doc you simply upload your file and so I could pick um, I you know I'm just gonna pick this same image uh, I'm gonna upload it so it uploads that file um, I would recommend you change them before you upload them to a real name but just for practical purposes oops and I made an error there See, I got rid of my YouTube so let's do that again let's get my YouTube back in there I accidentally put it in the same place Alright, so now it's just backwards, but here's my image. When you click on the image, you can actually make your image bigger. You can make it smaller, and it, you really are better off to pull it this way. You can wrap text around it, okay? You also can add a caption. So, uh, I just put my YouTube channel. Okay, you save that. You can also make a link, so I can actually uh, link it to my, well, I don't know my address, so we're going to pretend like I, I know it. Again, I'll just link it to www, or http colon, www.youtube.com. I usually click new window as well and add. All right, so quickly, we've added text, we've added a link, we've added an image, and now we've added a YouTube. If you actually go to save, now it will show you what your page looks like. And so here's your live wiki. You can see that um, the, my YouTube video is now in here. I push play, it plays directly in my wiki so I can upload kids work. You see that my link here, when I click it, it automatically is opening up YouTube. So it did exactly what it was supposed to. And this link should be to my page. So very quickly, you can see, sorry about my dog. Very quickly, you can see that you can build multiple pages very quickly or add a lot of stuff.
The other thing is you can begin to add new pages. Woody! Sorry about that. Hopefully the dog, uh, he went outside, so maybe we'll be okay. The other thing you want to be able to do is um, <clears throat> if you look at your pages up at the top now on mine, it's this way. Yours might be over here still. But you can just add new pages. So by clicking, you can add a new page, and it wants to know the name. So I'll call it uh, My Students Work. Whatever. You can add a tag if you want. But once you create the page, you can click Create. Your student page is now created. Um, you're going to see a couple things have happened once we get it all here. I'm going to just put student work so we can see it. Whoops. So now I've got a student work page. I save. And a few things are going to happen. You now see over here you have a home page and a student work page. So again, you can click this and add 800 pages if you want to this wiki. But ultimately, you can just click now back and forth, and you'll go back and forth to your two pages. So this is the basics. The beauty, there's one more thing I will tell you that, that's pretty nice about this. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but in 11 minutes, I kind of wanted to give you the gist. You also have this icon over here, and this is revisions. And what's really nice about this, actually, I'll go to um, my actual student page, because I think you, it, it's interesting to see... When you get on this page, and let's say we go, I know recently the kids have made some changes to this Reformation page. So we're on a Reformation page, and you can see there's been 132 changes to this page. What's really nice is you can go back to the very first change, and I'll just take this, and we'll assume that's far enough back. And we can open up the way it looked May 20th, 2009, and that's what it looked like. And then you can go through each version and see how it changed. And so you can see every single version until you get to today's page. This is what it looks like. So those 132 changes went from one idea to now this whole page is kind of filled with lots of links and lots of movies and YouTubes. So this is the student created page. And from here, the kids created pages off that with more YouTubes built in about the Reformation and the background on these people. So it's a really interesting and great way. Um, I like to tell people this is your kids playground you build it you establish it and then let the kids do what they need so that's how you get your wiki started and your wiki page um, I guess the last thing to say about it is your wiki address is that your wiki is live every time you click save you have a live wiki that anybody in the world can go see by typing in that address so that's the basics of how to use wiki um, there is a tutorial on Creative Commons that also links so you can learn how to use Creative Commons so you're not breaking copyright law on this. All right, good luck.